Okay, well, I have some pretty good news to report on my crystal cell um, battery project. The one that I showed in my last video that was made out of uh, copper and a zinc-coated uh, machine screw and then those crystalline seal with epoxy uh, didn't die. And uh, you can see the voltage on it right there. And you can probably just barely hear it running that oscillator. But what I found out was... Uh, these are very, very thermally activated, and uh, temperature is what what really makes them go. There's got to be something else happening, but temperature really, really affects them when they're sealed up like this. There's no humidity involved. It's just a temperature thing. Okay, watch this voltage here. I'm going to heat this with a barbecue lighter, and you can probably hear it speed up. Watch the voltage here. And that's all it takes. Like I say, it's a thermal situation. I just held that little lighter on there for just a couple of seconds there and heated that up. And there comes the voltage on the cell. That'll stay there until it gets back down to room temperature, and then it drops down to the one uh, I, I showed when I started the video. You probably just barely see that LED blink in there. Probably not. It's too bright out. Anyway, that, that was the first thing that was a big success when I found out that they were thermally activated like that. And the other thing I did yesterday was I made a, a new one using a magnesium and uh, the copper with the same uh, crystals inside. It's um, Rochelle salts that are melted into the cap first that coat the inside of the cap with a, a layer of Rochelle salt melted. And then uh, I mixed up a mixture of alum and, uh, I'm sorry, Epsom salts was on the outside. And then the inside is uh, Rochelle salts and alum melted in. And that's actually a coil of magnesium in there. And then that's sealed with 5-minute epoxy. The reason I'm using 5-minute epoxy is so the epoxy doesn't saturate into the crystal. I think some of the guys that are trying this epoxy aren't using a fast-setting epoxy. And it's getting into the crystal and affecting the crystal part of the battery. So you need to use a very fast-setting epoxy. But uh, let me show you what happens when I put the the big boy on here. This one puts out about a volt and a half. And I'll show you the... This is the voltage in the capacitor winding down here. We put on the... Uh, there goes the voltage with the magnesium. That's magnesium and copper with those crystals in it. Unloaded, this is about a volt and a half. I probably can't even see that on, but that's blinking that LED pretty good. Anyway, that was a major success, so we'll let this one go for a while and see how that, uh, that runs this little oscillator. And uh, this is uh, about 24 hours old now, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. And that's loaded voltage on that. Now here's another thing that I, I discovered. This is an infrared LED. And, uh, you know, I did that video with the red LED. Well, I found out that the infrared is much more potent than the uh, red as far as amperage. It's not as high a voltage, but it's good amperage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to shine a flashlight here on that infrared LED and watch the voltage go here and listen to the radio as I do this. Oops, I put it in backwards. You have to make sure you put this in the right way. Try that again. There it goes.
So anyway, that was another find with this uh, infrared uh, infrared LED and how that will run that uh, little oscillator with the infrared LED. And there's some connection with all of this stuff. Somehow the diode effect and these crystalline batteries, there's some connection that I haven't sorted it out yet. But I get a diode effect off these things. These things will pass electricity in one way and not the other way. And they act like switching diodes. It'll go and it'll stop go and stop like a switching diode so uh, I've got a lot more to study on this thing right here and John Bedini is working with the Marcus Reed crystal battery I'm really anxious to see how that goes now the other thing was uh, was Penny and uh, here's Penny over here and she's going she's going up a, up a storm here and she's three weeks old on that uh, can't see that hardly this uh, crystal battery on this one is three three weeks old, and uh, that is running uh, about 0.9 volts, and it varies up and down uh, during the day and during the night, but it's holding steady. And that cell there is this one here. It is the IB pointless cell that is uh, done on the stove. And what it is, is it's uh, done on a piece of aluminum foil. It's copper magnesium with borax and salt substitute on the bottom, and then alum melted onto the top. It's made like you'd bake something almost, and a uh, very interesting cell. But there's no deterioration in this one. This is still holding about 1.3, 1.4 volts unloaded. And the identical cell here is the one that's in, uh, is running penny. And that cell there is uh, holding at about 0.9 volts, uh, going on three weeks. So anyway, that's the status of my little projects here. And uh, much more work to be done on these crystal cells. Thanks for watching.